There are so many Gedolei Israel, big rabbis and tzaddikim too. They guide us our whole life through. We can follow their example and learn from their middos and masim toivim too. I can't wait to hear stories about their yiras shamayim and their love of learning Torah with you. So boys and girls, the hayu aynecha Ro'oset Morecha means you must open your eyes and look at the tzaddik's face while you listen to the story that took place. Rav Yaakov Yisrael Kanievsky, known as the Stipler, was a great Talmud Chochem. Let's learn about this tzaddik. Little Yaakov Yisrael was born in a country called Ukraine. His parents were Reb Chaim Peretz Kanievsky and his mother's name was Bracha. His father was a Shoichet. When Yaakov Yisrael was only 11 years old, he went to a yeshiva. He went to the Novodok yeshiva. At the Novodok yeshiva, Yaakov Yisrael learned lots of Torah, even though he was just 11 years old. He learned from the Rosh Yeshiva, Rabbi Yosef Yoizel. Rabbi Yaakov Yisrael Kanievsky was also known as the Stipler Gaon. That was his nickname, Stipler Gaon. Gaon means genius because he was so clever. And Stipler, he got that name because he came from the town of Haran Stiple. He grew up to become one of the leaders of Klal Yisrael. He was a big Talmud Chochem, and when he was only 19 years old, he already became the Rosh Yeshiva of the Rogachov Yeshiva. The Staip Lagaon spent all of his life studying Torah and doing mitzvahs. He used to study until very late at night, and then get up very early the next morning so he can continue to learn Torah. He didn't even notice losing sleep because he loved to learn Torah so much. When Rav Yaakov Israel Kanievsky, the stipler, lived in Poland, he was the Rosh Yeshiva of the Novodok Yeshiva of Pinsk. There he learned lots of Torah and he also wrote many important for him, like the books called Kehilos Yaakov and Sharei Teshuvah. When the Chazon Ish, who is another great rabbi, saw what a big Talmud Chochem Rabbi Yaakov Yisrael was, he knew that he wanted his sister Miriam to get married to Rabbi Yaakov Yisrael. And so the stipler got married to Miriam, who was the sister of the Chazon Ish. Rabbi Yaakov Yisrael and Miriam had three children. One son, who is the famous Reb Chaim Kanievsky, who's also a very big Talmud Chochem in Eretz Yisrael, and a daughter named Ahuva, and another daughter named Yosefa. When the stipler was a young man, he was forced to become a soldier in the Russian army. The soldiers tried to make the stipler work on Shabbos, but he never would. One time, they even started to hit him to make him work on Shabbos, but he never did. The stipler never wanted to take a chance of doing an Avera. One winter, the army sent him to stand outside the whole night and guard the camp. They gave him a warm coat to wear, but he wouldn't wear it. The stipler was afraid that the coat was made of shatnes. Shatnes is when wool and linen are mixed together. We're not allowed to wear shatnes. As the night went on and he got cold, 
he started to think about the things he had learnt in Torah. Soon, he forgot how cold he was, and before he knew it, the sun came up and the night was over. Rav Yaakov Israel preferred to be cold than to chas v'sholom du an avera. What a great tzaddik! When the stipler moved to live next to the Chazon Ish in Eretz Yisrael, he lived in a place called Bnei Brak, and he was the Rosh Yeshiva of the first Yeshiva Gadoila in Bnei Brak, called Yeshiva Space Yosef. Boys and girls, there aren't so many videos and photos of the stipler gown, but do you know what I found? I found a very special recording of the stipler saying the brochas over the Hanukkah candles. So let us listen very carefully to the voice of this great tzaddik. <laughs> We are so lucky to have had such a Talmud Chochem and Tzaddik in our generation and that he taught his son, Reb Chaim Kanievsky, so much Torah and Halacha also. Tina Tzenafshi Veruchim